I'm here with my Dash personal donut maker and a can of cinnamon rolls. The question is, will they donut? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. I recently posted a video about how you can make donuts in this Dash personal donut maker from canned biscuit dough. I've had several people ask me about cinnamon roll dough and I've never tried it before. So let's give it a try. This is a can of cinnamon rolls that I got from Lidl and I don't think I've ever had these before. So I'm going to open this up and let's see if we can make a donut. This one says to press a spoon into the seam. This is a really hard container to open. I think the can of icing is on that side. I think that's why. Let's try it over here. Yeah, it's softer over here. Yep, and that's where the icing is. So that's why it was more difficult on that end. Here's a little package of icing. And here's the cinnamon roll dough. And for the biscuits, I used three biscuits. And I also made mini donuts. So now I'm thinking I should make mini donuts. Let me get a plate. This can of cinnamon rolls gave me eight cinnamon rolls. And I'm thinking that these are actually too large for the mini donut maker. So I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna take a look. Here's the mini donut maker. There are the cinnamon rolls. And these are just a little bit too big for the donut maker. I'll use two of these for a full size donut. We'll see how that comes out. Here's my donut maker. It's been heating up. The blue light is off. We're ready to start using it. And then what I have here is two of the cinnamon rolls. And I'm just going to do what I did with the donut. I'm literally just going to squish them and tear a hole on the inside. So let's just make a hole, even though these are starting to unravel. Let's let's make a hole on the middle. Just pull them apart and just try to squeeze them together so they're going to stay together. Okay, so there's our cinnamon roll donut. We'll put it in here. Maybe I could have used three. We'll see how this grows. Maybe I need to spread it out more. Let's pull it out more. Okay, now we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, for the mini donuts, I'm thinking maybe I just remove part of this. So like if I go like this, then this should fit nicely in the mini donut maker. Here's the mini donut maker. And if I take away some of the outer part of the cinnamon roll, it fits much better. So I think that's what I am going to do. This is what I did with the rest of the dough. So these are three of the pieces that I cut off of the edges of the cinnamon rolls. And I basically just took my finger, poked a hole in the middle and then squeezed the edges. So we have like little cinnamon roll donuts. And then this one I constructed out of some of these uh, pieces that I cut off. You almost can't even tell. And I could make another one if I wanted to, but the donut maker makes seven. So I have seven here. It's been a little bit more than five minutes. Let's see what's going on here. Wow, that dough really grew a lot. It got a lot bigger. I don't know if it's ready yet, so I'm gonna let it continue to cook. I don't know if this is gonna stay together as a donut or it's gonna come apart. I'm gonna let it cook another two or three minutes. The instructions on the package say cook for 13 to 17 minutes. So sometimes you could get away with like half of that, which would be probably around seven or eight minutes. The donut definitely needs a few more minutes because I do see some steam coming out of the donut maker. I'm gonna say this is done. It's really starting to brown on top. So I'm gonna unplug this and let's take the donut out. And there's the bottom of the donut, nicely browned. And here's the cinnamon roll donut. Is it holding together? Yeah, it's holding together nicely. Super, super hot. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit, but I am going to put some icing on it and I cut the hole. I cut the tip of the bag too big. I just put some of the icing on top of the donut. I think it looks really good. I'm going to give it a try because I just can't wait any longer. I don't know what they put in that frosting, but it's really harsh. But the donut itself is really good. Can you see the layers in it? That's from using two of the different cinnamon rolls. I probably could have squeezed them together better, 
but it's still good. And of course it tastes exactly like a cinnamon roll. I could easily eat this entire thing right now. And some people are going to say, well, that's not a donut, that's a cinnamon roll. And my response to that is, if I took this donut and if I gave it to somebody that had no idea that I used cinnamon roll dough to make this, and I said, what is this? They would look at it and they would tell me, well, that's a donut. They're not gonna look at it and tell me, well, that's a cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll donut and that's the difference. It would be like if I took a donut and made a cinnamon roll out of it. And if I then handed it to someone and I said, well, what is that? They would say, well, it's a cinnamon roll, even though it's made out of donuts. So if I make a donut out of biscuit dough and I give it to someone to eat and I say, well, what is that? They're gonna tell me that's a donut. They're not gonna say, well, that's a biscuit. They're gonna say it's a donut because biscuit dough is versatile and can be used in making many different things. The same thing goes for cinnamon roll dough. You can make cinnamon rolls with it or you can make other things with it. And this is a donut. Here's the mini donut maker, nice and hot. Let's put these mini donuts in. They're a perfect fit right now, but I don't know how they're gonna do if they grow. We could have a disaster on our hands. Okay. There we got seven. And we'll shut that. I'll be back in about five minutes. There's a ton of steam coming out of this donut maker much more so than the larger donut maker. It's been about four minutes and I wanna check on these. Holy moly. Wow. These look good. They actually, sm they actually smelled like they might start burning. That's why I wanted to check on them, but look how nicely browned they are. I'm flipping them over and they're equally brown on all sides. So I'm gonna declare these done. These are super hot, so I'm definitely going to let these cool off a bit. But I have some of these leftover dough pieces, so let's just put them in the donut maker and see how they do. It's been four minutes for these pieces. I think they look good. Let's take them out. And here are the mini donuts. What I did was I took the icing and I put it in a small Ziploc bag and I cut a smaller hole in the tip and I used that to decorate these with. I decided that I like the zigzag pattern on these the best. As you could see, I was trying a different pattern on these, but I did settle on the zigzag pattern and these look really good, so I can't wait to try one. Absolutely delicious. And I definitely think they came out better as mini donuts than as the bigger donut. And as you can see, some of the layers just separated as I was eating it, but that's fine. It still tastes really good. And there we have one of the little crescents or horseshoes. Let's put some icing on this. Really cute. Let's give this a try. This is really nice also, makes like a really cute little cinnamon roll bite. And so that's how you can make cinnamon roll donuts in the Dash Mini Donut Maker and also the Dash Personal Donut Maker. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel to see what else we can make in these mini appliances. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.